let's keep making videos and explore hyperlinks. So we've put all kind of things already, put at the top, uh, make it transparent. Um, the margins we've changed. We are now using these rounded corners, if you like it, right? Just a variable, just change it. And in Sublime Text, that's the editor we've chosen. We have everything and the everything is in a dot config hyper and you just start changing. So the one that's really is only going to be used is the hyperlink.conf and you just start at the bottom and go down and read what is set. You can change the browser here or the file manager there and this variable will change everything in one go. So there is so much to go through and I'm just handpicking some things out of it. I mean like the gaps maybe, gaps in, gaps out, you just see the border size maybe you can see and have a go at eight, right? <laughs> Let's see, wow, that's eight. But there is also zero. No borders. I believe that was the default in the beginning, right? It's all about choices. Maybe one is enough already, and it's okay. With one, we get some kind of, well, the, th the advantage is when your cursor goes over the window, you know this one is active. When you do super Q, you know it's gonna be that one, right? Visually, you know, that's gonna one I'm gonna kill. And otherwise, with no border, you can't tell. You have to just go over it. So this is number two again coloring if you want to change it blur yes maybe this I can um, have a look at there is something about blurring blur yes blur size but there is something specific about blurring there is a script somewhere oh we're back there is a special kind of blurring somewhere that you can use as well Let's have a look. So press all these buttons, right? Super F full screen. It's gonna be like this, super f full screen. And so on and so on, right? Firefox is there, Chromium. What I would like to go through in this video is one here, this. It's not called blur, it's called class morphism toggle. What? Class morphism toggle. Hypersyn uh, blur size this passes one normal blur and otherwise it's gonna be this setting and then that setting and I'm gonna change everything. Mm, okay, how does it launch? It launches with Alt G. Okay, let's open up some of these things. Alt G. Oh yeah, right? Alt G. Normal blur special kind of blur maybe you like this kind of blur it's just more blurry right but okay it's there it's fun we have something extra glass morphism toggle alt g and alt g that's better so blur find blur yes what happens if we say blur no save Ah, okay, let's put it back on, because then we can say blur size, how about 10, how about 100, how about 1000, okay, hm. too much, 100, blur passes, sorry, <laughs> save. Okay. All right. Then this needs to be a little bit less. We get this. Optimizations on. So, I guess this is the video about blurring. <laughs> Decoration. Blur. Just try some things out. Blur's way bar. Right. What if we say don't meaning I think let's check it out okay we need to kill the way bar there so p kill 
waybar. And now we need to launch waybar again. Ah, yep. So we go back to, ooh, too big, Zip. Like, like this. And we go to the hyper, we go to the script, 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 script. And then we go to status bar. That's in our way bar. Status bar. Aha. Uh -huh. So now this one is not blurred. Mm, maybe I like it. Maybe I don't. Save. Control C. Ah, yeah. Okay. I think I'd rather like it like this. So it's all again, right? Choices, choices, choices. The only thing we provide is knowledge. You play with all these settings and maybe let's conclude with that. If you say, yes, this is it, loving this, right? Then we say, let's go to the config, let's go to a hyper. And that's exactly what I do. If I say, this is what I want for the rest of the year, control C, control V. And I give it a name like Nemo. Mine, 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 all these seagulls, right? Mine, this is my setting. And if I do a scale, right? No problem. If I do a scale, oh yeah, let's do a scale, right? If I do a scale, all my settings are gone. Yes or no? Yes, they're gone, thankfully, because if you mess things up, you have a code that works again. But yes, all the settings are gone. I'm back on QWERTY. <laughs> so super Q is actually for me super A now, right? Super A. Oh yeah, I just by accident dragged something. So if we press, uh, if we the, the, light, the left click, mouse click and super gives you this. And if you just do left click, you get this, but with the super, we can do some things and throw it to the second screen and the first screen, voila. So I've got everything gone, yes and no. Here is everything, right? There is always a backup. With Scal, we make a backup of the config. That's it. So yes, hyper is there, and we actually have hyper mine as well there because backup is backup. But what I do, I don't take. I, I, I make this one hyper mine just to avoid to have a look at the old of the other folder. I just say compare, and now you see what did I change. What is different from Arc Linux? Well, I don't want to see what's the same. I want to see the configuration. I told them to go to the top rather than the bottom. And the spacing is five. Okay, my stuff is back. Margin left five, five. No, no margin, thank you. I want to cycle through the wall. So this was an, um, changing the wallpaper, your personal wallpaper. I want that back, saved. And actually it's a good way of thinking again, what did I do? And it seems I've done here a space here. Fine, cool. Probably better do it this way, but okay. <laughs> it's just the space that I've added to the list here. Nothing changed there basically, okay. Sure, save. Style CSS, aha, we've changed it. The bar would used to be completely transparent, but now it's a little bit Dark, choices, opacity, same. Okay, safe. And last but not least, I want my keyboard back, right? I want my Belgian keyboard, but I chosen to use the rounding now. Rounding six and blur size 10 and blur passes through and so on. Anything you've changed is in the mine. Getting my SRT back. And in a few minutes time, voila, everything is set back and you can, you're back in business. You're working on the latest code, but you are cherry picking the lines, your lines and applying your settings. All right, cheers.